Hello everyone, welcome again and in this demo I am going to show you a demo of a CRM um, in JSPN Servlet. This application is developed into the JSPN Servlet and let's run the application and before directly dive into the demo let's talk about a bit about the technology technical details that we're using over there so uh, to manage the front end things it's uh, using uh, jsp uh, html and css as there and to manage the backend things it's using servlets and to manage the backend uh, it's using mysql database and connected through the jdbc so here we have a database and these are the tables available over there. So if I view the data of the user table, there are three types of user into this application. The first is admin, user and the employee. We'll see, we'll log in one by uh, one and then we'll see the functionality of each role uh, in the, into the application. So when I run the application over my Tomcat server, I can see this as the front page, the customer relationship management. And this is just a static page. So not coming from any dynamic data over there. It's just home page. So uh, other we have two options here. One is a sign up and one is a sign in. So if I go to the sign up and I can sign up as, as a two role, like admin will be a static user and a user and employee can register over there. So I'm going to fill up this form and I'm going to select it as a user and then click to the sign in button. Uh, sorry, sign up button. I can see user is signed up successfully. So that should be a new user into the database. So if I refresh the data table, I can see the six record as a user and similarly you can select from here as an employee and you can perform the uh, login operation for the employee. Now let's log in as an admin and see what admin can perform and after that we'll log in as an employee and as a user. So it's customer relationship management. So we'll see some operation. So I'm going to enter the login username of our admin and this is the password. So make sure when you log in, uh, you're getting the database password, uh, pass username and password from the database. Make sure the role ID. So role ID one always will be for the admin, two will be for the user and three will be for the employee. So I just sign in here. It says me invalid IE. Why? Uh, I'm going to view the table again. I'm going to enter this email ID. And this is the password. Okay, now it's working. So under that user list, uh, I have two options here. To, I can add a new user. So I, as an admin also, I can add a new user or employee. And also I can view the data of the, all the employees that are available in the database. Also, I can perform the operations to edit operation. And I can check the list user list also i can perform the delete operation from here here we have an option to search the data so let's suppose i need to search the data so i can go over there uh, on, the, on, the, on the user list i search the name as an admin user or let's suppose search for this user and data is filtered here i just reset and it will display again so admin is a static user so we can't perform edit and delete for the admin we can perform it for other users Another section, another module of the application is a product. So here is the list option for the product categories and I can add a new category from here. I can uh, put up a category name and description and uh, the data is saved successfully. When I view the list, I can check the categories I did over there. These are the product categories that admin can add. Also under this category, we can add a new product. So let's suppose I'm going to add a product category, product code, so uh, product. So I need to enter the product code, product name. Uh, enter the product details i'm just entering the dummy data over there uh, just uh, enter the price and select a product category let's suppose i select electronics uh, and i'm going to upload a text image that is a dummy image so i save it and when i view the product when i uh, view the product i can see the product is available here as a code so also I can perform the delete operation for the, these products. So, and these products are storing into the table of use product details and product category. The next thing we have complaints. So in case if any customer employee going to um, uh, pass any complaint, the, uh, there is an option at the user end, user can add a complaint. So those complaints will be displayed here. Admin have access to update those complaints or delete those complaints. So if, if, if I want to respond for this uh, um, complaint, uh, so I can give it answer. I can uh, post it. So it will be displayed here. 
and uh, it will be updated over there so if i move it it will be displayed to the user end another option we have a product inquiry if someone is asking for any product and the user this detail will be displayed here to the admin and also we can perform the edit and delete operation again some common operations my profile change password is available over there and when you click on to the logout button it will be logged out from as an admin now i'm going to log in as a employee and then we'll log in with the other user so i'm going to take a user id for the employee sorry this is the user id and this one is the password so i'm going to enter the user id password hit the sign in button so some operation like employee have access to add the product categories and to view the product detail add a new product over there also it can check the employee can check the complaint list and product uh, inquiries now the important part is a user so let's log in as a user and check what a user can perform over there so user going to raise a complaint so I just enter the username password for the user. I click on the sign in button so user can check the list of product categories. User can search it. Product uh, detail list will be there so user can check a product list. Let's suppose I want to inquire any product so I just enter the inquiry number and the product like so. Let's suppose I want to inquire for this product and save it. And the list will be displayed to this, this request will be sent to the um, employees and uh, admin so they can check the requested uh, product and raise a complaint in case I want to raise any complaint I can raise any complaint from here as a user and here is the option to complain list so I can check my this is my existing complaint and product inquiry list so I have done these mess inquiries for this user and these are the some dummy buttons and Again, common option my profile change password logout. I just log out. So, this that's all about the uh, customer relationship management. It's a minor project. And if you want this source code, you can connect us with us uh, over this uh, WhatsApp, over the Skype, or email ID. You can email us in the corner. You can see and uh, check all the details. Also, you will you can check the description box. There will be a link that will redirect you over the complete detail about the application and UML diagrams and you can the contact details are available over there also so you can connect with us and we will provide the complete remote support so it means uh, we will help you to run the application at your machine and it will work same as in this demo.